okay, 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 okay. So the look, do you remember Uguti U Judge Lope spoke about how Ramaphosa speech he suspects that it was written by EDA. Well, you know, it's I don't know whether I should say you are lucky or what. I don't know. I should say you are blessed. Because I was just roaming and I came across the exact thing about it. Lindy was Susulu exposing Ramaphosa that no. At some point Ramaphosa was present was, was look, the president was speaking. He had a speech that came from ETA. Did you just hear that? That same man had a speech that came from ETA. And Judge Lopez said, listening to Ramaphosa, and uh, he mentioned the word GNU, 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 GNU. And there's already a suspicion that, uh, look, uh, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, before I give you the one, Ka Lindy was Sulu, where he's exposing Ramaphosa that, uh, there's this thing that is happening between Ramaphosa and the DA. Let me give you the one uh, Judge Lope. If I can find it, guys, I will insert it somewhere here. If anything, it's, it's the parties in the GNU. My guess is that it was prepared by DA members. I will tell you why I'm saying that. We were watching very closely in Parliament as the President was delivering his speech. It's the white members of the DA party who were busy applauding. So it was all about pleasing the GNU parties, particularly the, the DA. Uh, but, but Dr. Shope, which parts were you not satisfied with? And as the MK party, what do you believe should have been included then if you're saying it's so appalling? Okay, firstly, there is so much lies that is contained in the speech. I regard this president as a serious liar, a serious-minded liar. Firstly, he says... His government, ANC, that we lead, has created more than two million jobs. We are South Africans, we know he's lying. That's not true. If anything, the rate of unemployment in this country is almost 35% now. So we, we have lost more jobs than we have created. That is a lie. The speech didn't address critical issues like the issue of Palestine. We know why he's not addressing that. It is because the DA is watching him in the GNU. He can't address it because the policies differ in respect of Palestine, right? So the speech was empty in that regard. Furthermore, the MK party, Umkondo Esizwe, we have been very clear in terms of our election manifesto. We are for the return of the land to the rightful owners. We want Section 25 of the Constitution to be amended right in such a way that there is uh, it in such a way that it makes provision for expropriation of land without compensation we want nationalization of the key sectors of the uh, of the economy such as banks and mines all right, that's Dr. John Klope. Of course, the Mkonto Esizwe party is the official opposition in this parliament. You've already heard what they plan to do. And of course, uh, working together with the, the parties such as the EFF in that progressive uh, caucus. Okay, okay, okay. So wait for me just a few minutes. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the look of the video. Ga, I'm going to give you the video. Ga, ga, look, ga, Lindy Wissusulu now. Showing us. Guys, to me, it tells me that Ramaphosa has been working. <sighs> okay, let me say it this way. To me, it tells me and it shows me that it is true when they say Ramaphosa was groomed by these people, raised and groomed by these people. For, look, for him to be the president, it was their desire, Right. So he was never gonna fight against them. So it is true when they say, when U U look Um Helen Zilla said, when the dust has settled, people will realize that the real fight is between ETA and the EFF. Obviously, he said those words before the introduction of MK part. But looking at everything that he said, or that she said then, it made me realize one thing. And that one thing is is the fact that no man guys no guys no 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 i call now guys no it can't be that your enemy says to you 
they don't feel like you're their enemy. They feel like they don't feel like you're an enemy. They feel like you are not part and parcel of their enemy. That alone should worry you. But one thing shouldn't worry you is this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed all right all right so i'm gonna give you the video guys soon i'm gonna also give, have to give you a bonus video uh, who's this guy it's not bantu olomisa man it is um suwali kota Speaking about how uh, how this guy, who uh, uh, Ram Dola, how Ram Dola, how uh, Pala Pala, how he sold out even back in the days. I think all those videos now they are making much, 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 much sense. I uh, I cry for people who believe that the current ANC is the real ANC. Now I understand when Zuma said, uh the a when when we, when when zuma calls it the anc of ramaphosa now i understand because it's not real necessarily the anc of Abu oliver tambo about what what it's just something else man but something else something else except the real thing yeah i don't know it could be a counterfeit it could, but something else except the real one when there was a solo guys was speaking on SAPC. he once said this the da and the DA has insidiously over time tried to implant their own ideas into how we relate to our people. I'll take an example of a time when uh, the president gave a speech in parliament. It was the opening of parliament. And uh, for two or three paragraphs, he seemed to be coaching the DA. There was an uproar. Afterwards, the DA comes out and says, we're terribly sorry. We gave the president... Uh, our constitution so that he can consider it and uh, we don't know how it worked out like this maybe there was a confusion there was no confusion it was deliberate it was deliberate they have been insidiously trying to get into the ANC and see how mm -hmm. they can control government through the ANC and you can see how they're putting themselves out yeah okay so now we're gonna have to go to the one gum suwali kota speaking about it and say hey guys go be um I'm still asking myself those questions to say, who's Ramaphosa? Because clearly we don't understand. We don't know Ramaphosa. Like, really, really, guys. Legit, legit, guys. We don't know Ramaphosa. The decisions that Ramaphosa is taking, you know, it will be a disgrace if it can be proven as true that the speech given by Ramaphosa yesterday was written by ETA. It will say that the look the look the look this it will verify in fact because uh, we saw letters we read leaked letters and they denied it but they, they they did the same thing anyway but it it, it who Jehovah how best can I say this it, it will verify this thing that oh. It will verify and confirm this thing that when when Zuma said there was a, a GNU before ANC, after elections, it's not that the ANC formed the GNU, the ANC joined the GNU. That, in other words, if you understand the analogy though, there on, the formation of a GNU was not because of e, 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 ANC, but it was because of E... It was because of E... What is this political party? It was because of ETA, right? 
So, in other words, the idea of the formation of E. E. Lendole, Yonke Lendole, it's not necessarily an ANC thing. So, if it's a DA thing, then they are in charge, then they rule, and they govern, they tell you what to do, because at the end of it all, it's not your thing. It's their thing. Do you understand those words? It's TA's thing. So if the speech can be confirmed to be true as to say, indeed, uh, the speech said by Ramaphosa was given by TA, it just confirms one thing. It confirms the fact that uh, it confirms the fact that the speech, I mean, it confirms that TA is in charge of everything and anything that you see. Whatever they are telling you, they're just lying. Suwali Kota one spoke. I'm going to give you the video of Suwali Kota right now. Take a look. Listen carefully at what Likota once said. Compare it with the evidence that is just emanating. Tell me what conclusion... Okay, tell me what if you have not found any conclusive evidence, I'm even stuttering, you know why? Because the more I think of it, the more I try to understand it, the more actually I realize that hi. Who said to us that we must fight the struggle and said that, and I quote, in case of danger or living conditions that threaten human life, we must accept life for what it is or not at all. It did not take very long, two years or so, because that was around 72. In about 1974, we went into detention, among others. And in the course of that, we had to respond to this challenge. And I want to say to you, you invited me last week. We had to respond to that challenge. Your invitation last week was late. The challenge we had to respond to was that time. And you, with us in detention, when it was difficult, you wrote to the special branch that we put communist ideas in your head. In doing so, you condemned us to the special branch. And I say, no, no, I say this to you. I say this to you Order. because the, the special branch rewarded you as they always reward their victims. And they send you home. And we headed to Robben Island. You should have responded. This invitation that you are issuing on Friday, you should have issued it then. We should have traveled together to the island to serve years for, for the struggle of our people. I will not join you in the trip that you are suggesting. I will not join you because you made your choice then. There's a point of order. And